Mixed Journey and it's Mrs. White again and if you have not yet watched that part one Christmas unboxing please watch that one first because today obviously I am doing the part two of the Christmas unboxing for the remaining boxes and of course more of Max boxes and this giant finale okay so if you are new to this channel just in case you didn't watch that one but you decided to watch this one forward so this channel talks about Hermes 90% of the time and not only talks about unboxing but then also Hermes strategy shopping strategy and some shopping plots occasionally I'll talk about other lusts or if you like this piece so if you like all these topics please consider to subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you won't miss any of my future videos especially some new tips or new stories so without further ado let's start with the unboxing so I'm gonna start off with I touched this so I'm gonna open this small box first okay okay just opened it I don't know if you guys can I don't know if you guys can guess what this is or who is this but now I can tell you this is mine <laughs> this is for me this is why and this is a messy twilly yay so this one piece I can tell you you may be wondering how did I get it because I got it this year, okay, 2022. For those of you who knows Hermes, um, or know this piece, the Messi, actually discontinued already. Uh, I think it discontinued this year. Like, we found out like in January. So we wanted to get it early this year, but then we couldn't get it because it discontinued. Everything sold out. Everything sold out is sold out. But how did I get this piece? So now I'm going to tell you guys, for those who have been following me on Instagram, um, some of you messaged me as well when I was at Cleveland, Ohio, and I was visiting that privately owned Hermes boutique. Okay. And I actually found that out as I, because as I was doing research, I just know that, you know, Ohio doesn't have an Hermes store. And, but how did I find out that private boutique is that we were at a restaurant and all of a sudden our waiter decided to talk to us about luxury. He saw us wearing some Hermes items or like other brands items and he asked us, you know, do we have any plans or like, is there anything we want to do? And he said, you know what, like there is a Hermes boutique, but it's privately owned. And only the people know knows. Like basically you have to do really deep research in order to find out or locals will know, right? So we went to that boutique and I saw this messy. I'm like, well, you know what? I should really buy it because there's no way I could get it at any Hermes boutique. The only thing I want to say is um, they do mock up a little bit. Which I think is okay because if you are getting things that is already discontinued or is no longer available at the regular Hermes boutique, I think it's worth to pay just a little more. I'm not saying they're a reseller or anything. They're not. They're they're com they're definitely not. They just have limited of stock and because not a lot of people knows about that boutique, so that's why they might have a lot more of the previous season's items and you know what this messy tuli i would say i'm very lucky because it was the last piece there's no other colors um there's no other options really so it's either i take it or i leave it so in that case i have to take it okay it's better than you purchase on a reseller to be honest i'm gonna answer some photos for you guys it's a very very cute boutique okay it's actually mixed with like different brands that they carry but they do have like part of the rooms like two rooms combined together those twos are dedicated to ms only which I think is really cool. We took some pictures by the stairs. Um, they frame a lot of scarf and those are like vintage. I want to call it vintage because you will never see those anymore. And the one they hung 
it's just very special. If you guys ever at Cleveland, Ohio, please give them a visit. I think it's worth um, to walk around and they're really, really nice people. So as if you watch my part one, you know the drill. <laughs> I just unbox one gift for myself. Now I have to open the other one for Mr. Y. Let's see what we got here. So, so I don't know why the, the dust bag is empty, but that's okay. So obviously this is a belt and with the H buckles. And what's so special about this piece is this side is one color in a ton, but look at the back, it's dual color and it's in black. As this is reversible, this is very practical. So this is a really good buy, I have to say. So there's one cool thing that I realized is that not only this is in dual color, but also in dual leather. So I'm not sure what leather it is, but you see like it ton side actually have a lot of grains, which is really nice. I'm not sure which leather it is, but I love it. I always love grains. But when you look at the black side, it's, it has grain, but it's a lot finer and smoother. But yeah, I think this is really cool. So I guess like this size, you can wear it more formally. And the Eton side will wear it more casually, I would say. Or like business casual, it's also okay as well. Okay, this is great. So for the price of this piece, this is, I don't remember exactly, but it's like right under $1,000. So right below it. This little piece, I just have to open it real quick. Because everybody knows what this is, right? But but could you guess which bag is this for? <laughs> so this is a Twilly doll. And I pick this color. I think it's really cool. The star on the other side. So for those of you who've been following me, you could probably already guess this is for my new mini Lindy. So for those of you who have not yet watched my second mini Lindy unboxing, I will put the link above and down below in the description box so you guys can watch it later. I'm not gonna tell you what color because you're supposed to know. <laughs> okay, you're supposed to know. Or you can follow my Instagram, Mrs. Y X Journey, and then you will find out the two mini Lindy that I have. And because this is so small. <laughs> Obviously, I can I have to open another one. And I'm gonna open this. Oh, I can't wait. This one's really nice. Okay, I'm gonna open this. Ooh, can't wait, can't wait. So this is the muffler. So I'm just gonna open it for you guys. So this is a really, really long muffler and it's in cashmere, 100% cashmere. Okay, so I picked this color because like they have like green. They still have the green left on the Hermes website, but I'm so glad that, you know, the, the Madison Boutique actually has this navy color tone. Oh, I love it. So this style is actually inspired by jockey's jerseys. This muffler takes its name from the oversized H and basis um, in bicolor woven jacket. So that's why there's two colors and because it's an oversized H. And for the size, like the length, if you're considering to get this piece, the size of it, it's actually 15.7 inches. We're talking about the width here. Okay. And 76.8 inches length. So right now I fold it. So we're talking about the whole entire length. 
from the top to end is 76.8 inches. And all the cool thing that I found out is that this piece is actually not made in France. It's actually made in UK, which is very interesting. I, I wasn't aware of it, but does it really matter? It doesn't matter. It's 100% cashmere. And the price for this is $800, which I think is worth the $800. Okay, consider you know how smooth this cashmere material is probably one of the finest and the thickness of it and also the length and all and the style i think eight hundred dollars it's like underestimate <laughs> okay now to the exciting piece ta-da it's our last or mass box but this piece is very special as well if you have watched the previous videos about letters appointments at Madison, New York boutique. You guys know that we did score a bag, but I was waiting for the Christmas unboxing to show you guys. If you have not yet watched what I was talking about, the leathers appointments at the Madison flagship store, um, I'll put the link above and down below in the description box so that you guys can take a look at it. Um, because it's a very interesting story. I feel like it, for visitor, I think there's hopes because I think the game has changed. So yeah, please watch that video. So give yourself a little more prep before you visit New York, perhaps. But anyways, let me show you guys what we have scored on that day without letters appointment because Mr. Y's essay was there. So anyways, I'm gonna open this. I don't know if you guys could guess this, but just so you know, this is not mine. <laughs> I didn't request for this, but um, we're still very happy that we're able to score this for my mother-in-law. This is one of the hardest non-coda bag <laughs> for this year. At least that was just my opinions. Um, so this is a Garden Party 30 in baton with Palladium hardware. And oh my goodness, this is just so pretty. I remember I saw this color in this exact combination when we visited the Boston Boutique last year in 2021. And I asked Mr. Y, I said, oh, that lady carried a Garden Party 30, it's so pretty, what color is that? And then we did a little research and we found out that's probably the baton color. And my mother-in-law has been looking for a Garden Party 30 in all leather. And then so we told her, we said, you know, you should get baton, baton is really nice color. So let me just show you guys the inside real quick, it has a bubble, of course. Um, just show you guys inside real quick and yep this is how it looks like okay i'm just gonna show you guys the bottom as well yep this is a really pretty color and of course all gotham parties leathers are made in nagoda leather i believe that's how to pronounce and the inside is canvas and we also been asking for um, Garden Party 30 in canvas with leather. And we were told that, you know, in the winter time. So just for your reference, we were told by Mr. Y's essay, like for the canvas version with leather, it's actually more available during the summertime rather than in winter. Like winter time, they made more leather version like a full leather version rather than the canvas style so for those of you who are looking for canvas you should hunt for it during the summertime i would recommend if you ask during the winter time most likely you won't get it if that theory is correct and and if you want a leather style like a full leather like this i would say you know ask during the winter time you probably have a higher chance for it okay so yeah what do you guys think 
I think this is really pretty. So for your reference, um, for the 2022 pricing on the Garden Party 30, the price of it is $3,800. So let's see what the price increase will look like next year. Okay, to the grand finale. And because, you know, this box is huge, so I had to sit up <laughs> on my couch. So I'm just gonna try to do this again. Okay. I'm so excited for this piece. I hope you guys are just excited as I am. Baby up. <laughs> yeah, it has a dust back in there. <laughs> I don't know if if any of you could guess it right. Okay. Okay, I need I need a Mr. Wise help. Oh my goodness, it's kind of heavy. But yeah, um, I don't know if you guys, any of you know this logo? <laughs> Let me just flip it to you guys to see. Let's review what this is. So yes, this is from Remoa. Oh my goodness, I can't wait. This is awesome. Yep, I got a luggage. And this is called a Trunk Plus, if you're wondering. And this is in the matte blue color, which I love. So like I just said, um, this is called Trunk Plus and it's in matte blue color. And you know what? I almost couldn't get this color. <laughs> when Mr. Y and I were discussing like which color to get, we had a little argument because he was leaning towards the light gray, but I'm leaning towards the blue because I saw the light gray when I was traveling and I said I didn't like it because I saw it in person. But then he thought, you know, the blue that Remoa had is not matte color. It was, you know, the gloss. But then I said, no, 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 no. I've been looking for the matte. So then he said, okay, then, then we'll order it. And so when, when it actually arrived, we both love it, which is great. So my decision was correct, right? Like this matte blue. And of course, if you guys want me to do like, you know, any detailed review, um, please comment below to let me know. Like maybe I will show you guys how many Hermes boxes can you fit in? Okay. So then you can, you know, have an idea like how many Hermes bags or boxes you can get when you travel to Paris. You know, this is important, right guys? Because look at this trunk. The reason why I love it so much because it's so much height in compared to like the regular uh, Remoa suitcase. Because the regular Remoa suitcase is a lot flatter, like a little bit flatter. I would say, I would say around like this, better than like all the way here, okay? And yes, it's probably wider, but then, you know, the box sometimes are pretty tall that I don't think you could fit in the regular Remoa. So this trunk, it's part of the reason why this is important to get. So for the price of this, it's 1,400 US dollars, which I think is not bad at all. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoy my part two Christmas unboxing. And if you guys have any questions or anything, please feel free to comment below and let me know. Or feel free to follow me and DM me my Instagram, Mrs. Y X Journey. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please consider to subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you won't miss any of my future video. And if you enjoy so much, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. And I hope you guys have a lovely holidays. And a happy new year. I will see you all next year. So as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye.